What amount should we deposit it now so that there will be 2,500 in an account that offers a 3.5% annual interest rate compounded monthly after 42 months? Now, here's the deal. Nothing stops you from using your compound interest formula, the A equals guy, in solving for P. You'll get the same answer. It's harder. So you might as well use the direct approach. In fact, let me mention this now. You should all be doing this in one fell swoop in your calculator. So what I don't want you to do is do the, do the I, and then do the plus one, and then raise it to a power, and then multiply. Because if you round as you go, there goes the problem. So I want everyone to do it in one fell swoop. So that's why I keep writing the, the single calculator notation. I want everyone to get used to that. So we have a present value problem because it says how much should we put away now? That's the key thing. And it also says compounded. So we're solving for P. So how much do we want in the future? 2,500 over one, uh, times 1 plus, what is our I? Point zero three seven five over twelve raised to the be careful. The exponent is the number of payment periods per year times the number of years. How many payment periods do we have per year? Twelve, because it's monthly. Uh, actually, mean I made a small error there. What did I forget? My negative. Don't forget your negative. So negative 12 times how many years? 3.5, 3 and a half. 42 months is 3 and a half years. So be careful how you read it. So times 3.5. Do we need to write that step out or if they give us the number of periods, we just put it in? Like they gave us 42, so... It's your choice, right. So yeah, if you do 12 times 3.5, you get 42. Now, be careful. If I had said quarterly, it would not be 42. So you'd have to figure it out. You have to, right. Yeah. So just be careful. So yeah, as you just said, this is 42. So again... Please uh, do that exponent first to make your calculator work a lot easier. So this is just going to look just like a compound interest in your calculator, except be sure to type in a negative sign. Do not use a minus sign. Your calculator will. So the negative sign is the one at the bottom of your calculator. It looks like that. Now, since we want 2,500 in the future, that means right now will we be depositing less or more than 2,500? Less. So you should expect a number smaller than 2,500. What do you get? 94. 2,192. 94? 94. Technically, but yeah, yeah. Right. For um, for me, I don't care if you're a penny off. If you're more than a penny off, then, then I have an issue. Uh, just pay attention to how Course Compass wants you to do it. Yeah. I think Course Compass also gives you leeway, plus or minus a penny in either direction. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's a good point. That, Technically, yes, we should round up regardless of what the answer is. Just to make sure you get past it, right? But I don't care. Okay.